Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Pash On Podcast. Let's get started with your host, Brian Pash. Hi, this is Brian Pash, and welcome to another podcast. On today's show, we have Jen Cole. She's a senior VP at CDK Global, heading up the digital marketing business. Jen, welcome to today's podcast. Thank you, Brian. It's great to be on again. So, Jen, we had a big announcement today, and everyone has been waiting for this announcement since at the end of June last year, the announcement was made to... uh, separate the digital marketing business from CDK Global and the DMS and CRM side of the house. Tell us a little bit about what's been going on since that announcement up to today. Sure. Yeah, as you can imagine, it's been a busy, what, nine months, and we've talked to, there was a lot of interest given how public the announcement was. I've been spending a lot of my time on the road talking to potential buyers and so very happy to reach this important milestone where we're actually able to publicly announce um, you know, that a definitive agreement has been signed with a buyer that we can now openly talk about, put all the rumors to rest, and, uh, and really move forward in terms of talking about the next chapter for, for the business. And Jen, you know, I've mentioned this in previous articles that the old Cobalt team, which was required by ADP, was really a different philosophy, a different mindset for the business. The ADP uh, business, uh, very stable DMS, very stable CRM, and with a very fluctuating market for digital marketing, uh, websites, obviously more dynamic, requiring different changes. For dealers listening to today's podcast who don't understand why CDK would be best served by separating these two very diverse business units. How do you describe it to people? Yeah, I mean, yeah, the the core CDK business, which was the ADP dealer services business, is the the large majority of that business is the DMS. So it's, it's, you know, long-term contracts, um, not particularly competitive space. And it's, um, you know, it's difficult once dealers are, are set with a DMS, you usually stick with your DMS for a long period of time. And CDK, under new leadership with Brian Krasanich, you know, has been very public about the investments that are being made to continue to modernize the DMS experience. And that's really where a lot of the CDK investments have been focused. So when the announcement was made that CDK had made the decision to sell off the digital piece of the business, so all the websites and advertising and related agency services, it was largely about the fact that you know our space is just so different. I mean, you know this, Brian. So much more competitive. Um, it's while we have a lot of technology, it's not a pure software play, right? There's a lot of agency services that you wrap around this technology to make it successful. So it's a different kind of margin profile, different sales cycle, and uh, different pace in terms of really how rapidly we need to be deploying updates to our platform on a daily basis to keep up with the changes in digital marketing. So, you know, I think with the new leadership under under Brian Krasanich, as he looked at where the investments would be made and looked at where he's taking CDK, recognized that the digital piece of the business would be better served, you know, getting us with an, a new home that's more aligned with where we spend our time. Um, and that's, you know, really we can talk today now about, about our new buyer and really how aligned we are in terms of our focus and, uh, and, and where we're going. Well, I, that's why I'm excited because when you uh, announced that Ansira Partners was the company that has mm-hmm. signed a definitive agreement to purchase the digital marketing and websites uh, business, I had to do my homework. Uh, folks like Cliff Banks, who writes an amazing Cliff Banks report uh, covering all the M&A activity, the the finance, probably has a lot more experience with Insera Partners. But when I went to their website and I saw that they've been acquiring really core, strong leaders in technology, marketing, CRM, 
Uh, why do you think Ansara Partners was a good fit, or or maybe why do you think Ansara Partners thought that the digital assets, uh, advertising, and websites was a good fit for them? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a great, and and it's it's funny. There are so many rumors at NADA, as you know, with everyone predicting who was buying us, and I never heard anyone get it right. So I know that the <laughs> announcement around Ansara. <laughs> and Sierra was a surprise. And, um, you know, it, it, for me, as we've been as, as we've been working together through this process of getting us to this point, I've been getting more and more excited the more I sit with the team and their board and realize the opportunities we have and the synergies we have. So, you know, Ansira, what gets me excited is Ansira is, you know, really a global marketing technology solutions uh, agency, and they really share with us um, a heavy focus on, you know, how do we leverage technology to drive marketing effectiveness, particularly at that hyper-local level, right? So we've, you know, we've built so much that's about um, how do we, how we uh, you know, really bring a national brand down to local and make it work for dealers? And then how do we help dealers ensure that their brand and their brand promise is wrapped around everything in their digital footprint? And, and Sierra, you know, like you said, if you go to their website, you'll see that they, they share that passion around great, effective marketing um, at a local level and a heavy focus on that brand promise. The other thing I love about their focus is they talk a lot about loyalty, right? And working with their clients to ensure that they have loyal customers. And as you know, it's a big topic right now with dealers as we look ahead. It's so important for dealers to be building that loyalty and maintaining that loyalty with their customer base, whether it's coming in you know, for service or their next car purchase or their trade-in. And so I, I, we just share an ethos with and zero with those passions. And then, you know, the flip side, I think what they would tell you is what they saw in us is a very experienced leadership team that's been in this space for a long time and, you know, really understands uh, marketing technology in the automotive area. Um, and they saw a very strong technology platform that, frankly, I think they saw the opportunity to bring it to market um, and, and, and show, you know, show the world what it can do. It's a little bit of we all see is one of the best kept secrets in the industry, what we've been building and not particularly marketing it. And so you know, they, they are very excited about the, the platform, the full breadth of the platform um, you know, that, that we bring to the table. Well, as I did my research, I noticed that over the last five years, uh, Ansira Partners picked up five companies, at least that were documented online, Square One Advertising, mm -hmm. Local Biz Now, Brand Protection Agency, DeFacto, and Great Wave Marketing. These were all marketing specialists. They were technology specialists uh, working with local businesses and global businesses. So I love the fact that you're going to have smart people from each of these companies on the resource pool, uh, shared learnings. Uh, I will tell you, and, and Jen, we've talked about this before, that uh, dealers can learn oftentimes more from looking outside the automotive industry than inside. Mm -hmm. And so... Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the CDK digital team to be able to bounce ideas and sit in uh, meetings where uh, global companies and local strategies outside of automotive are, are discussed. Jen, mm -hmm. let's put to rest a couple rumors, okay? Obviously, yeah. the one rumor that another website company was going to buy you and just take over the advertising, of course, that didn't happen. But what yep. about the existing staff? Dealers have mm -hmm. been waiting to know what to do. Who's the buyer? Is it going to make CDK better? Are I going to have my support team that I, I love? Tell us mm -hmm. a little bit about that because there were some rumors like, well, they're going to lay off everyone and then everyone has to apply for the job. And I'm like, man, that would be a bloody way to start a new relationship. <laughs> so let's set those... Yeah that those rumors, what have you been told by the team in a, of Ansara about the existing support structure? Sure, sure. Well, first, let me hit on the point you made about the fact that Ansara and the companies they've been buying bring 
that non-automotive perspective. And I agree, I'm, I think it's going to be very good for us and our industry to have us be, be able to work with the leadership team, both at Ansira as well as with their board of directors. They have a lot of deep marketing technology and agency experience in similar verticals, but not the same verticals as us. They, they certainly do some business in the automotive, and we see some great opportunities to partner in automotive. But like you said, they bring a lot of experience and knowledge from outside of auto as well. And, and my team, you know, we're thrilled to be able to tap into that. Um, so with that, though, uh, you know, to really run our business and grow our business, our team will be will be uh, coming over with the sale and including me and uh, and and, you know, really running this as a division supporting the automotive vertical. So, um, you know, we'll take advantage of shared expertise and, um, you know, where we can get some, some, some leverage from one another. Um, but the dealers and uh, clients can be rest assured that their teams will be intact. And I think you'll find, I just met with the whole staff this morning, and I think you'll find our teams are very excited um, about the next chapter. Um, so, so, so no change, if anything, I think a little bit of a weight lifted off of the teams and a, a new, new, you know, um, uh, energy uh, from the teams that, that the dealers should be experiencing now. Well, that's great to hear. And obviously, as you look up and see the parent uh, company of Ansira, uh, the international company Advent, um, a mm -hmm. huge global private equity firm. So cash isn't the problem. It looks like technology expertise isn't the problem. So now it's really energizing your team to innovate and leverage this shared resource pool. Um, let's mm -hmm. stop for a moment. And one of the predictions regarding the GM program, and I know you may not be able to speak about all the details, but I had written a piece kind of defending CDK, that there's a lot of happy customers out there and, and the defection rates were not as high as some of the industry pundits were predicting. And of course, we had a little update at the beginning of the year and my numbers were pretty accurate. But now yeah. I'm hearing that uh, the GM website program has been delayed again. Do you think that this is actually a good thing for CDK? In my perspective, I think having your future public resolved, not you know up in the air, is is going to be a big thing when this GM program really rolls out full steam. How do you see it? Yeah, well, first off, you are incredible at your predictions. <laughs> so I'm very impressed how right on you were in terms of how it all how it all landed. And um, you know, I think for us, we're, we're we're happy to be. Of course, we you know never want to lose dealers, but but happy to be evolving to a time when every dealer that is working with us is choosing to work with us, and where we're earning their business every day. So you know, we've continued to be um, really laser focused on the things, gosh, you and I talked about last summer in terms of um, continued focus on the evolution of our website platform and usability and I, you know we've had good feedback had great feedback at nada from dealers about all the advancements in the website platform i firmly believe it's the most powerful platform out there now and now much easier for dealers to use and a lot of uh, focus on our service model so pivoting to in the moment service as well as more in-field support so all of the dealers you know that, that chose us at general motors um, you know, should be feeling those changes. And, um, and that's just really important that they feel good about that decision every day. And for the dealers who didn't choose us, and yes, there are delays in uh, GM um, getting the new program stood up. I can't really speak specifically to the challenges, but you know, we're committed to working with them, um, whatever their timelines are. But we're also committed to, you know, the dealers for as long as they're with us until the new the GM program and their new providers are ready to receive them, you know, they will also be experiencing these changes in our service model and in-field support and advancements in our platform. And 
uh, you know, we'd be happy to keep any who decide to, to stay with us based on um, the, what they're experiencing. But I, the big thing is that, you know, we will, we will support them just like we will the dealers who chose to stay with us until GM and the providers are, are ready. And yes, I think, you know, to ultimately answer your question, I think just getting all of this cleared up and being able to say that we're here to stay, as you know, there was just a lot of rumbling, we're here to stay and we've got a great home that we're moving to, I think certainly helps us in this process. I know that there are a number of great companies out there. Uh, we just did the AWA Awards. We recognize the best and best in technology, and surely the competition in the website space has been heating up. Uh, advertising is mm -hmm. becoming more and more complex and requiring deep investments in automation. When we look at today's announcement, naming and Sierra Partners as the company that will take you to the future, what does the next few months look like? I asked you this question before we started our interview, and I think it's good to repeat. What are you going to be called? When will we know about that? And, and what do the next few months look like? Yeah, so the next few months, the vast majority of my team will be continued, you know, focus on our product roadmap, continuing to enhance our, our websites, our insights, our advertising performance, you know, business as usual in terms of, you know, bringing accelerated, um, uh, you know, product market, as well as continuing to double down on our in-the-moment support model and, you know, field support models. Um, there are, there's a small group of us, including me, that we very focused on finalizing the sale and, you know, all the transition work and we've put together a team you know, we're a pretty big part, big, big company. And so a lot of transition work to uh, carve out of CDK's global. Um, but when we announce the final sale, we will also be announcing a new name and, and brand. So it'll be part of the Ansira company, but we will have our own um, name and uh, look forward. I can't share it yet today, but look forward to sharing that soon um, as we get closer, as we close, as close the business. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to be at your conference coming up here soon, Brian, and uh, this spring. And, and that'll be one of the places where we showcase uh, the new brand and, and bring that to market. That's great. And the conference that Jen is referring to is the 2020 Digital Marketing Strategies Conference. This is the 11th year that we're running it. It's in the Napa Valley, May 17th, 18th, 19th. And on the day before the conference, I'm doing a full day workshop on Google My Business Optimization. Uh, my brother Glenn's gonna be doing a leadership and training workshop all day, helping dealership managers who are newly promoted to handle the responsibilities that they've been given. And Colleen Harris from CDK is going to be doing a full day workshop on Google Data Studio. So we've upped the game this year. We've added some bonus courses for the dealers who purchase a premium ticket. Jen, as we wrap up today's podcast, what is one message you'd like to communicate to dealers, whether they're an existing CDK customer or a previous CDK customer? What would you like to put in their mind to, to have them think about, about teaming with your company in the future? Mm, yeah. Well, to our existing customers, first and foremost, it's thank you for staying with us and believing in us. I know there was some uncertainty here with the announcement last summer. And so we really appreciate the, the committed support that so many of our customers have shown through this. And you know, I think for all dealers, um, you, know, you will continue to see rapid uh, advancement, uh, continued um, advancement in our platform and our, and, our, and our service levels. And for someone who hasn't looked at us in a while, I would really encourage you to take a look because there is, so much since we've been doubling down this year in advancing the digital business, so much that we've been bringing to market that I think a lot of people just don't know about. And then finally, with our new partners, you'll see us be able to really leverage that expertise from non-automotive to continue to enhance how, you know, how we all think about this space and how we can leverage other verticals to continue to, to advance our execution. So 
Um, and I, I really appreciate you, Brian, you know, making the time so quickly after the announcement uh, to give me the opportunity to, to share the news. I'm, I'm clearly very excited about it. So. Well, I think that everyone in the organization is breathing a sigh of relief as they know who their <laughs> dance partner is and uh, excited about moving forward. I'm very interested to learn a little bit more about uh, the company understanding what Ansira's vision is, and it might be nice in the coming months, maybe at DMSC, to have someone from Ansira uh, join you as we talk about the future of online marketing and websites. I'm excited to see what the future investments look like for dealers and automotive industry professionals who've just joined us on this podcast for the first time. You should know that every Monday, I record a new podcast and release that out with industry leaders, innovators, tech companies, and themes to help uh, dealers at Tier 3. So please make sure you tune in each week for a new podcast session. Also, you should know that on March 18th, I'm hosting the Automotive Marketing Bootcamp for Fixed Ops in Fort Lauderdale. It's a one-day workshop where I'm bringing together the best strategies, the best speakers on specific automotive digital marketing strategies. And of course, I hope that you'll consider joining us in the beautiful Napa Valley at the Digital Marketing Strategies Conference, May 17, 18, 19. So May 18th or Napa in May, either one is a winning ticket for helping your dealership grow to the next level. Jen, I want to thank you for being on the show today. We look forward to seeing a lot of new innovations coming from your team now that it has a new home. And for dealers who are on this podcast and have questions, Jen, what's the best way for them to get answers from the CDK support team? Uh, they can call. They they they, they can call direct to uh, their support team um, and or our 800 number or reach out directly. You can reach out to me on on LinkedIn or anywhere. I'm happy to happy to talk. So great. I appreciate that offer. There's a lot of dealers who are anxious to see what the future looks like. I want to thank everyone who's tuned into today's podcast, and we'll see you next week on another podcast show.